Welcome to Tech Mining. This video dives into the exciting new combo box page item. A powerful addition to Apex 23.2. It displays a text item with a list of values, offering greater flexibility and user friendliness. When you click the text box, a pop up window appears with a list of values allowing you to select multiple values. When you select multiple values, they are displayed as chips. The combo box item type also supports filtering. It provides you with the ability to filter the list of items based on your input. The red and green colors both have these two alphabets in this sequence, so the list is filtered to show both values. The time for action is now. Let's roll up our sleeves and get started on building this module. In this module, we will be utilizing the demo product info table. If you're unfamiliar with the process of creating this table, refer to the video available in the information card. You have to add this new product color column to the table through the use of the add column option. The column type should be set to varchar2 with a length of 15 bytes. Additionally, generate a new table named demo colors. Comprising these three columns, ID, color name, and color image. Utilize the insert row option to input these five records into the table. The color image column contains URLs linking to images stored on my Google Drive. The combo box will showcase these color images directly from the Google Drive source. Now follow these steps to share the images with your Apex application. Edit any color record. For example, red color. Copy the color image URL, tilde is equal to. Open any text editor and paste the copied URL. Feel free to utilize different color images of your choice. But ensure to upload them to your personal Google Drive to make them accessible to your Apex application. Right-click on an image and choose the Share option from the context menu. Choose the option Anyone with the link and then click the Copy Link button. It's crucial to enable the Anyone with this link option, otherwise, the images won't be visible in the Apex application. Click Done button to complete the process. Follow these steps to generate a URL suitable for use in your Apex application. This is necessary because the copied link from Google Drive won't function directly in Apex. In the text editor, paste the link copied from Google Drive. Copy the portion between D slash and slash view. Then paste it after the D is equal to sign. This modified URL is what we will utilize in our Apex application to access the color images. Copy this modified URL to the clipboard. Edit the record for the red color and paste the modified URL into the color image column. Note that this entire procedure is specific to one record. Repeat the same process to generate URL for the remaining four colors. Proceed further to establish a list of value, LOV, for presenting the colors within the combo box. This is the assigned LOV name. Its data source is derived from the following SQL query, extracting data from all columns in the demo colors table. You can find it in the video description.
Configure the columns as illustrated here. Set ID as the return column. Establish the color name as the display column. Click the Select Columns button. Transfer all three table columns to the right pane. Use the Edit button to set the values in this section as presented in the video. This section allows you to specify additional columns from the underlying data source to be displayed alongside the primary display column. This feature is particularly useful when you want to provide users with more information about the items in the LOV beyond their primary display value. If you turn the visible and searchable values off for any column, they become inactive. For example, if you turn off these values for the color name column, you won't be able to search a column by its name. Everything is set to test the combo box page item. Generate a new interactive report page included with a form. Choose the demo product info table as the data source. Access the form page in the page designer. Opt for the product color page item and modify its type to a combo box. Used when presenting a text item with a list of value icon. Enable the multiple values option to allow selecting more than one value with the selected values showcased as chips. Activate the multi selection option. If you want the suggestion drop down to remain open after selection, followed by checkboxes indicating the selected status. Additionally, link the product colors list of values, LOV, to display the color images. Create a hidden page item named Manual Entries. This item will be mapped with a combo box to facilitate the acceptance of manual entries. Disable the value protected attribute, which safeguards the hidden page item's value from alteration during page submission in Oracle Apex. This feature is beneficial for securing sensitive data or maintaining consistency in the hidden item's value throughout the user's interaction with the page. When deactivated, the hidden page item becomes capable to direct modification by the user or any JavaScript code on the page. I have linked the hidden page item to the combo box at this location. In Oracle Apex combo box page item, the manual entries item attribute dictates whether users can manually input values into the combo box. In addition to choosing from a predefined list of options, this attribute grants users the flexibility to input custom values that might not be part of the list of values LOV.
Enabling manual entries allows users to input their preferred values directly into the combo box through the input field. While the combo box will suggest matching options from the predefined list, users have the freedom to input any valid value. To ensure the backend tables reflect these manual entries, you need to write PL SQL code. This is the HTML expression code used to showcase the color image with inline CSS code employed to specify the images width and height. You can find it in the video description. That concludes the process. Save your work and execute the interactive report page to evaluate your modifications. Proceed to edit any record. Inside the product color combo box, click to trigger the appearance of all five color images. The combo box permits the selection of multiple values. Alternatively, you can input a color name to make a selection. Upon applying the changes, the ID corresponding to your selections are stored in the product color column. Upon revisiting the same record, you will observe that each color is marked with a check. The recently introduced combo box page item comes with numerous enhancements and upgrades, transforming it into a more robust and adaptable tool for user input and data presentation. Its capacity to handle multiple values, incorporate rich text formatting, and allow user-defined entries significantly boosts the combo box's flexibility and user-friendliness. Furthermore, its integration with shared lists of values simplifies data management and guarantees uniformity across various combo boxes. In essence, the new combo box page item signifies a noteworthy progression in Oracle Apex's capabilities for user interface design. Thank you for watching.